I love all the pineapples that you see everywhere in home decor. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to design one in Tinkercad. Uh, let's get started. Here we have our half sphere, and I'm gonna pull it out to our work plane. I'm going to lower the center. I'm gonna copy this one by holding Alt or Option. Now for this to be my base, I need to flip it around, so I'm gonna rotate it. So now I just need to position them over one another. We're gonna use the Align tool to make sure that they're on top of each other. In order to fill our pineapple, I'm gonna pull out one of our cylinders. I'm gonna type in 30 by 30 here because that's how big we made our half circles. So now I'm gonna make the top part a little taller. 10 millimeters, let's try 10 millimeters for now. I'm going to group that together and let's change this to green. Here are our pyramids. We're going to create those prickly things by using a lot of pyramids. We're going to have to shrink these down 10 millimeters high, but 20 by 20, so we're going to shrink these down. Then I'm going to rotate this. I want to rotate this by 45 degrees. So now I'm going to copy these just like um, I normally do, holding down the Alt or Option key and clicking and dragging. So here we go. I'm gonna make sure that they're all kind of connected and move them over here because I'm gonna copy them like I always do, holding down the Option key and clicking and dragging. So I'm gonna offset these a little bit. Now that we have two rows, I'm going to rotate them vertically. Now they're a little too low, so I'm gonna take my triangle up here, my little cone up top, and raise them up. So I'm gonna grab this, and holding down shift, I'm gonna shrink this down. So the next thing we need to do is make sure that they actually are set into our pineapple because we wanna make sure that they're connected. I'm gonna just copy all of these. So now I wanna rotate these. So let's rotate that until it looks about right. So I'm gonna go about 100 degrees. There we go, let's group them together so it's not so annoying. All right, now let's rotate these around. You kinda of have to play with it from up, down, side, back, and see which way your your pyramids go. All right, so I'm gonna select this. Now that this row is already grouped together, I can just click and drag over here. So this time I put it at 30. So we're just gonna do this continuously around our entire pineapple. So here we go, like, oh, again, we have to play around with it a little bit. So that looks pretty good. And again, I'm gonna copy and pull out. So we're just gonna repeat the same process over and over again. almost done. If your last ones don't quite touch, that's fine. You can adjust a few of your rows. Now can you kind of see our pineapple? So I've just put all the little spokes on there using the pyramid. And the next step, I will show you how to make our, our leaves for the top of our pineapple. So next we're gonna bring out the paraboloid. and then move it over. 
I'm gonna try to stick this in the center of our pineapple. So now for the leaves, let's take this roof. Um, luckily they are already green. So hold down Option or Alt and drag. So now we have two leaves. So I'm gonna copy both of these and drag out and then rotate these 90 degrees. And we need to connect them together. I'm gonna select all three of these and I am going to copy these. So offsetting these are gonna give our pineapple a little bit more of an organic shape. Select everything and group it all together. So there is our pineapple. All right, and save my STL. Now that you know how to make this little pineapple, you can make big ones, you can make bananas, you can do a whole fruit basket of apples and oranges. Share with us your designs and everything that you've come up with on kirakira.com. Kira.